Hey folks, so I decided to run Cinebench. Um, I've never done this before, so I don't know what it's uh, what's good and what's not. Um, I also don't know. It's got eight minutes, uh, eight and a half minutes to go. Does it just keep running it or what? Um, hmm. Well, I guess it showed that we popped up over here. I don't really know what this uh, what this does. It still says running, so. But it looks like we might end up somewhere right around that 1700x, which makes about 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 um, somewhere between that and these Xeon below it, which makes sense because that's kind of where we were on the past mark as well, right now at 1700x. But um, I do have Chrome open because I'm actually uploading another YouTube video. I'm not sure if that makes a big difference or not. That's the only thing I have open because. I wanted to minimize all the, you know, the processor stuff, but um, and RAM usage, but so maybe I'll run it again with Chrome closed instead of the one that finally stops uploading. But I'm not sure what this does though. Is this like I know it's rendering, but why would this take a long time? Is it? But I, I guess I don't know enough. But anyways, let's see if it moved. It got worse. It got worse. That little bar went down a little more. It got closer to the Intel. But I'll uh, I guess I'll uh, wait until this is done and then pick up the video. Okay, folks. So it actually finished, uh, finished a while ago, but I was on the phone, so I couldn't uh, record right away. Uh, 7877, it went way down from the original guess. You know, it was it was pegging us between these two right here, um, and then it ended up dropping us just below the Intel. I'm not sure if that is uh, bad or good or what, because um, let me get, I see a bunch of i7s, you know, i7, 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 i7 that were just smoking, so that might be good. Um, I'm going to run it again without Chrome open, see if that makes a difference. I don't know if it will, but uh, I'll, sh I'll just uh, tack these results on right, right now. Um, I think, let's see, yeah, so what is running 37% memory? Oh, wow, okay, well, I'm going to close this thing too. I didn't realize that that knew so much. I don't really need that feature. Anyways, okay. So I've got nothing else, nothing else open. Oh shoot! Uh, I don't want to click on text task. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay, everyone. So I ran it again, and it got slightly better. Seven nine four seven multi core. Um, I guess I can run the single core now, but uh, it's still below that that Intel Xeon, which I guess you know that that was a, what a server a server CPU. I don't know how old it is, but um, so it's not bad. I mean. I think we're pretty good. I, again, these these benchmarks are just as useless as the uh, Passmark ones. Like, why are you showing me all these random ones? Show me ones that are that are laptop, that are mobile. Um, tell me they're mobile, and then show me current generations. So, like, 11th gen is current, current. So, we're beating those, like I said, Intel's. Like, this is an old, this is a first gen Ryzen. I'm oh, sorry, this is a first gen Ryzen here. Um, no idea what generation that is. That's a first gen Threadripper. Um, that's the last gen Threadripper, I believe. I believe they have a 3000 series now, but I could be wrong. By the way, um, so it's kind of useless on the, the comparisons, but uh, I imagine single core, uh, which I wasn't even going to run to be honest, but I imagine single core is going to be way worse because uh, I mean, obviously, way worse, but I'd imagine that we'll see it like 
below all these intels like it won't even be on that front page uh, just because um, if those are desktop processors but we do know that we beat out the most current um, intels barely or we only lose very little very very um, closely again that's an, almost an irrelevant benchmark I mean people say oh you need it for gaming you don't really need it for gaming because uh, again everything that this CPU can do like you're, you're splitting hairs at that point because GPU intensive games now and if they're not then this can crush every game but um and as we go further into the future you know eventually Intel once they they pull their head out of there you know where um they'll start being more multi-thread because that's the way the world's going especially with the market share that uh, AMD has so I've always thought the single single stuff was kind of irrelevant um and it's really irrelevant now because it's not like it's not like this is, this is still, like I said before in the other video, um, this is 50% better than my current two Intels, that I'm, the Spectre that I'm replacing with this, and then the one that I'm still using for work. It's 50% better in single core, according to past mark, I should say. So, like, it's very good, even if it's worse than the current Intels, you know? But Okay, so... Um... What? We did, I guess that makes sense. Uh, I'm a little confused here. We did better than a thread wrapper. I guess maybe you have a higher, higher clock count. Um, you know, uh, faster gigahertz. Although, no, not according to this we don't. But I think we, uh, honestly, I have no idea what these results are. But this is the, uh, the single core. It's better than I thought. We did beat a couple uh, Intels. We lost to those current gen i7s. Um, but we beat that Xeon that we were dealing with before. We beat a couple other Xeons. We beat an i7 right beneath us. So, um, okay. And an i9. But so I guess that that goes to show you it's it's way better than the uh, 1700X, uh, which makes sense I guess you know past generations, but much better than I thought. I have no idea what this um, MP ratio is, but we did not do well in that I guess. Uh, yeah, let's see. Does it tell us what what that is? Nope. Well, I don't know what it is, but that's what it, I, mean, I don't know what it means, but that's what it is. Um, yeah. So, not bad. Again, uh, multi-core was uh, 7947, and single core was 1250 with a 6.36x MP ratio. So, cool. All right, guys.